guys! Welcome to this week's video. I'm Laura. I'm Carlos. And this is our journey on Pico Island. So uh, back a few months, we did um, a tour of the Triangle Islands. So we went to Saint George, and our partners Egidio and Celeste hosted us on Saint George because that's where Egidio was from. And then they came over to Pico, and we hosted them on Pico. And then we were supposed to go over to Fayal Island, which is just adjacent to Pico. But unfortunately, we we're renovating our house and we had to stay behind and take care of a few things. A little bit on um, more about Ingenio and Celeste. It's Life Wellness Azores. The, we work with them putting on together a um, workshop uh, that we're working on and, uh, and product like the tour that we were doing some research on. So we decided to do this video, or Egidio and Celeste did this video for us. Uh, just so that you guys could see a little bit on Fayel because you've all probably already seen the video on Saint George and the video uh, on Pico. Which we'll link so yes. you can see all three. Yes, so stay tuned to the end of the video because then we'll explain a little bit more about the Triangle Tour and our workshop. But because Pico is so close to Fayel, about 25-30 minutes by ferry, four or five times a day, you have the ferry goes back and forth. It's so easy to get there. And uh, it's such a compact island. There's a couple of really nice beaches. as Orta, which is the city, has the famous marine, which is one of the top marines in the world. And it's just a fun island to hang out. I also have family there, but uh, some good restaurants as well. Yeah, and good good shopping. <laughs> yeah, pretty good shopping. It's, uh, it's just a, it's a fun island. So when I, what we think of, uh, you know, uh, of the Triangle Islands, I think of all three. They're so connected, and uh, we'll explain more at the end, like Laura said. Why don't we head over to the video? Enjoy, guys. Hi, everyone. This is Ijidu and Slesht. As uh, Laura said, we're making our way over to Fayal uh, to uh, visit the island and show you some of the sites on there. We're in Madalena right now at our accommodation in Villa Barca in Madalena, just about two to three minutes uh, taxi drive to the ferry terminal which is just behind us down here in Madalena and behind us you can see the waves crashing in so we've got a mixed bag of uh, weather coming up over the next couple of days um, we're along the coast right now you might even hear the waves crashing in the background but uh, further out beyond the, the coast it should be fine sailing across to uh, to Fayal uh, for the uh, 30 minute uh, ferry ride see you on the other side we're at the ferry terminal in uh, Madalena, as you can see, one of the benefits of traveling in the slow season is there's not a lot of people here. During the summer, this would be lined up, people waiting to get their uh, their tickets. We're just about 25 minutes before boarding and there's, you could just walk up and get uh, and get your ticket. Just a side note for anyone looking to bring a vehicle across on the ferry, 
during the uh, shoulder and uh, low seasons, usually not a problem. Uh, today had plenty of room if you were to drive up and, and look to bring a vehicle across. However, during the summer months, that's not the case. Um, you probably need to look to book uh, a spot on the ferry for your vehicle uh, at least weeks, if not months, ahead of the, the time that you're looking to cross. Because the, the ferries hold about 9 to 10 uh, vehicles. And um, if you don't get a spot, you won't be able to bring your, your vehicle across. Just before we head out on our drive around Fayal Island, thought I'd give you a bit of an overview. Uh, Fayal Island is about 170 uh, square kilometers. And as far as distances, it is uh, about 20 kilometers from east to west and 15 kilometers from north to south. As far as drive times, typically takes half hour to 40 minutes to get from the um, Orta, the city of Orta, to the other end of the island at the coupling, just to give you an idea. Our plan today is to drive along the southern side, past the airport in Castelbranco, and then head towards the Volcano Interpretation Center. And then we'll continue on along the northern coast, stop in at an area called Fajan, and then continue along the, uh, the, the top of the island, the north, north side, towards the east coast, with a stop in at the uh, Praia in Al Mosharif, and then we'll head back to Orta. And if uh, there's a nice sunset, we'll finish it off at Castel Branc, which is one of the nicer places uh, to see the sunset here on on Fayal. Depending on the on the weather today, we may or may not get a chance to get uh, into the center, into the large volcanic crater. Um, they're calling for um, uh, drizzle and fog at higher elevations, so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. We might uh, need to pass on that today, but we'll give it a shot. Orte has one of the larger marinas in the Azores and is considered a primary stopping point for yachts and sailors crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Many leave a painting of their flag with their names and dates to mark their passage through uh, the city of Orta. One of the iconic places here in, in Orta, on Fayal, is Peter's Cafe. We're kind of a bar that goes back quite a few years. A lot of people crossing the Atlantic normally stop in, drop off a banner or flag in here. So I thought this would be an ideal place to, to stop in and have lunch today before we get to going and continue our tour around the island.
along the coast on the southern side of Fayal. As you can see, the vegetation here is completely different from the vegetation that you've seen on Pico Island and on uh, St. George Island as well. Kaplingers is a great area for hiking. Here are two examples. Uh, the first one is the uh, Coast to Coast Trail. This one is quite uh, long. It takes about 12 hours to complete, considered to be hard on the scale of uh, easy, medium, and hard, and 37 kilometers long. The second one is called Dej Volcões, or 10 Volcanoes, and this one is along the western part here of the island. It's 19 kil kilometers long, also considered to be hard, and would take about five hours more or less to complete. As you can see, there's quite a few hikers uh, walking some of the trails here, a different landscape than what you would typically see on the Azores. The uh, Keppel English Interpretation Center opened in September of 2007 to mark the 50th anniversary since the initial eruption of uh, the volcano. And um, it's quite impressive what they've built here. It's all underground. It's under the ashes, uh, just below the, uh, the lighthouse outside. And uh, once you come inside and walk around, it's a great activity to do on a rain day or if you have the time. Uh, quite a lot of history has been captured here, so you might find it quite, uh, quite enjoyable. As you can see here on the northern part of the island, we're now heading back um, from Capilingus, heading back along the northern road, the northern side of the island. And as you can see, the vegetation here is very lush, very heavy, very green, very rich. Uh, there looks like there might have been a shower that uh, passed by not too long ago. And this is similar to vegetation that you'd see on the northern part of St. George and also in Pico as well. So sometimes the northern part of the island much uh, lusher, much, much greener.
down at the lower levels, not as much fog and drizzle. It's almost like uh, we're in a different time zone. It's nice and clear. And we're just going down to the Praia Val Musharif, which is a, a dark gravel sand beach. This is the place we're staying in uh, in Fayal. It's uh, like stepping back in time. Restored farmhouse called Quinta des Bougainvilliers. What's your name? What's your name? Tata. 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 <laughs> A simple friend? Oh, I hear the chickens. There they are in the background. Show us, show us the waterfall. Where's the waterfall? Tartar, where's the waterfall? Go, go. Let's go, let's go. back on the south side of uh, Fayal Island, uh, just near Mord Castel Branc. You can see it back behind us here in the background. And we thought with the sunset today and uh, uh, the lighting and everything, we thought this would be a great place to finish off uh, the video or the visit to uh, Fayal Island. I hope you enjoyed it and um, come and visit the Azores. Bye guys. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed that little tour with Egidio and Celeste. We're sorry, Egidio and Celeste, that we couldn't join you. It would have been fun if we were there with you. <laughs> so what's great about these tours is it's low and slow, so it's not rushing to get from one place to the next. Yes. Um, you want to be able to take your time and take everything in, especially the nature. We picked the right hotels, accommodations that offer you and our quality and uh, some might even include meals. So if you go to Life Wellness Azores website, you can click on those packages and it will go into 
more detail. More detail, yeah. So we'll also find the workshop on there, which um, I had mentioned is happening May 12th to the 22nd. Right, and that has more to do with someone to retire, semi-retire, work remotely, buy a vacation home. It's pretty self-explanatory, uh, but 80% of what we do is for the, t you know, it's tourism, people visiting these islands, and we really try to promote these islands with a lot of care, and uh, we have a lot of passion for, for, for the Azores. So guys, you know what to do. Please like and share and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next in, week. And we'll see you maybe in the Azores. Yes, All we right. will absolutely see you in the Azores. All right. Bye, guys.